Enjoy this movie, then visit BrainPop.com for much more. That's not Mars, it's... Wait a second, you want me to say... that other planet? Dear Tim and Moby, Is there life on Mars? From Conrad. Yeah, a lot of you have been asking if Moby's a Martian. He isn't. Actually, he's from... Um, moving on. The short answer is, we don't know if there's any life on Mars. There's definitely no intelligent life. You know, the kind that can build cities and stuff. But Mars has enough in common with Earth that there might be simpler forms of life there. Well, they're more alike than you might think. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun, the next closest after us. It has a similar tilt, which gives it four seasons. And it's terrestrial, which means it's made of rocks and minerals. If you landed on the Martian surface, you'd notice many of the same natural features we have here on Earth. There are canyons and mountains, and its poles have ice caps, just like ours. Yep, you can see Mars without a telescope. That's why people have been wondering about it since ancient times. Its reddish color led the ancient Romans to name it after their god of war. And as recently as the early 1900s, some astronomers were certain there was intelligent life up there. They interpreted some lines on the planet's surface as a network of canals. These could only have been created by an advanced society. Nope, they were completely wrong. The canals turned out to be an optical illusion caused by their telescope lenses. As technology improved, astronomers were able to learn a lot more about Mars. Orbiters and landers have been gathering data about the planet since the 1970s. Starting in the 1990s, NASA has sent a series of remote-controlled rovers to explore the surface. So, in the last 40 years, there's been a flood of new information about Mars climate and geology. Well, like we now know that Mars is red because its surface is covered in iron oxide, better known as rust. And we've learned about Mars' massive dust storms, which can cover the entire planet. So far, no mission has uncovered any evidence of life. But NASA has found some tantalizing hints. The most important clue is the substance that all life depends on. No, water. Most scientists believe that a planet needs liquid water to support life. Only liquid water can deliver nutrients to living cells and dissolve waste. Mars has a very thin atmosphere, so it doesn't trap heat like ours does. The average surface temperature is way below zero. So even though Mars does have water, it's mainly locked up as ice. And the air is mostly carbon dioxide, so it would be impossible for creatures like us to breathe. Right, plants and other organisms can breathe carbon dioxide. And here on Earth, there are microorganisms that thrive in the cold with little or no oxygen. So it's possible that Mars might support more basic forms of life. Recent evidence has hinted at where these Martians could live. Satellite photos of mountains and craters reveal something strange. During the Martian spring and summer, dark streaks grow down their slopes. Then they disappear when the weather gets cold again. Recent analysis confirms that these streaks are what they appear to be, flowing streams of water. Right, even in the summer, most places on Mars are still freezing. But the streams are filled with a chemical that keeps them liquid at very cold temperatures. No life form on Earth could survive in this stuff, but on Mars? It's entirely possible. Anyway, even if Mars is lifeless now, that doesn't mean it was always so. There's plenty of evidence that long ago, water flowed freely throughout the Martian year. There are riverbeds and other landforms that seemed like they were carved by flowing water. If that's true, there's a good chance that Mars once supported life. Since it's more than 4 billion years old, it's kind of difficult to say when. No, silly, those are Mars moons, Phobos and Deimos. Martian battle destroyers? 
They're tiny chunks of barren rock. Did you even listen to a word I said? <sighs> ah! Ah! Visit us at BrainPop.com for more on this topic and hundreds of others. You'll find movies, games, quizzes, and activities. Learn more about the difference BrainPop can make.